You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linder, your host, and today I have Gwen Knowles, who is a the actually the recording secretary for Delta Sigma Theta Sorority, and we're just talking about the sorority. Mm -hmm. There's no date or time on this one. Um, what's so great about being a member, <laughs> Gwen? Um, well, the sorority was founded on the campus of Howard University, January 13, 1913. Um, and two months after its founding, one of the first act of public service by our founding um, members, which was 22 college-educated edu women, was that they um, marched in the Women's Suffrage March. Mm. So that was their first public service act. Um, just looking at the history of the sorority and um, its founders, as well as mem many of its members, um, Patricia Harris, who worked up under uh, President Carter, uh, the late great actress Ruby Dee, mm -hmm. Cicely Tyson, um, just of the many women um, that are affiliated with the sorority, um, it, it piqued an interest for me, and um, I was just very glad that I was able to get involved with them. Now, you joined when you were in, in college? Uh, actually, no. I joined as an alumni chapter. They, alumni. You do have the opportunity to join either collegiate or alumni. Mm -hmm. And the alumni chapters were created to give uh, the opportunity for the work to continue on. After you graduated, you still were able to connect with a chapter and continue the work, which um, the cornerstone of the sorority is public service sisterhood and scholarship. That, that sounds like three really good things, okay? So the public service start, started right out at the bat back in 1913 and still continues to this day. Um, what types of public service projects does your sorority get involved in, um, like, like couple, last couple of years maybe? Sure, well up under, we have like a, a five point pro, uh, promatic, pro, programmatic uh, thrust where mm -hmm. it's um, through economic development, mental health and awareness, educational development, international awareness, um, and also political involvement. So up under each one of those thrusts, like up under education, we have a mentoring group um, called Delta Academy and Delta Gems. Delta Academy is for girls ages 11 through 14 and Delta Gems is for girls ages 14 through 18. And it's a mentoring group where we work with the young ladies in, um, in the area of uh, self-esteem building, also in the areas of the science, technologies, engineering, and mathematics. Mm -hmm. um, and just uh, cultural awareness, just giving them maybe exposure to some things that they might not be having within their home, within their school, um, or even within their community. I like it. Economic development, education, international, political, and I think I missed the fifth. What am I missing on the fifth? Um, mental health and awareness. Oh, okay, which mm -hmm. is a big issue right now. Um, just watching in the news this past week, uh, Prince Harry over yeah. in London talked about his struggles for 20 years, two really bad years, and he's formed his own foundation. But there are lots of other groups. Mental illness is often something that's very hidden and yes. people don't talk about it, so it's good. Political involvement, uh, certainly in this day and age, if, <laughs> if we can go back different decades, but now yeah. uh, in, the, in the current climate, it's, it's good to get educated, involved citizens so you're just not sitting on your keister at election time, <laughs> right. whether it be state, local, federal, whatever. Well, we have, we've had uh, voter registration drives, and as a matter of fact, I am the chair of our social action committee as well. Okay. Um, so sometimes there are national directives that come down from our national president in regards to maybe a particular area that they have a concern of. Um, in the past, we've um, had initiatives around domestic violence, mm -hmm. foster care. Um, we work closely in collaboration with um, mayor uh, in regards to with adoption. We uh, work with them every May at their walk, the, the annual walk that they have down at Jordan's Furniture. Do you have a convention? Uh, we do. We do have a convention. As a matter of fact, our convention this year is in Vegas. Okay. So uh, the conventions are held every two years. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, we do. And uh, previously it was in um, Houston. Okay. Um, so it's, it, you know, it moves at around. The, at, right. And at the, like, at the convention, they'll let people know where the next one will be. And like up under our F economic development, 
we host Ladies Night at Home Depot every year at the Home Depot right on Crescent Street. We've been doing that for the last eight years. And as a matter of fact, last year, our own Nubi Rato was um, our MC for the okay. evening. Okay, okay. <laughs> Well, let us know about that if you do it again, because we'll yes, promote it. Yes, we will. We will. We'll be. Okay. It's going to be coming up in May, um, and we do that every year again, so that um, women can know about um, do-it-yourself projects. We work closely with the store. There's giveaways. There's raffles. There's refreshments on that evening. Mm. So um, we're really I, on our tenth anniversary. We're looking to try and get Gronk. So if anyone out there. <laughs> As a connection to Gronk, call me, please. <laughs> I, maybe we can enlist Newbie to get Gronk because Newbie he knows all the sports figures. So you talked about the alumni chap, alumni and collegiate. Yes. Do you have to be asked to be a member of the sorority? How does that work? I mean, a lot of times people think, even with Masonic lodges like mine, oh, it's a big secret society. <laughs> Nobody knows anything about it. How does it work if, if someone wants to be involved? Well, if the, there's events that we um, host, it would be good to, to look at our website. So um, upcoming events, um, like we, we encourage people to come to them because, again, if there's something that you want to be involved with, you kind of want to know what it is that they're doing and what the, what the events are like. So we encourage people to go to our website to check out our events, um, have the opportunity to, to come to them. If someone happens to know someone that is in the sorority, mm -hmm. they can always talk to them to kind of get an idea of um, what, what it's all about. Um, you know, it's a, it, it is a process, like just like anything, but again, it's Refer really the ref work. References, I know, because right. I, I, I gave one at right. one point. Exactly. And when I became a Mason, mm -hmm. I had we had an investigatory committee. It was this big, <laughs> big, long process. They came to your house. They wanted to see where you live and all sorts of other stuff like that. Tell us the website so people sure. know what it is. Sure. It's www.dstmpcaac.com. Okay. And again, that's www.dstnpcaac.com. Okay. And so I am a member of the Norfolk Plymouth County Area Alumni Chapter. Okay. And do you have regular like meetings as well? Yep, we do. We have regular meetings, uh, oh. monthly meetings. Okay. Regular monthly meetings. Local to Brockton, or yep, they are local to Brockton. Okay. Any particular day, or, mm -hmm. or? well, it's usually um, about the the third Saturday mm -hmm. of the month, mm -hmm. um, but again, those are, are open to members. Just members? Mm -hmm. Okay. So again, if someone wanted to find out more, they'd go to the website. Definitely to go to the uh, there's website. There's some contact information for different people. There's probably Definitely. a membership person. Right, there is, exactly, it. right. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, give us the top thing that you get out of it. Matt just gave me the one minute cue and you can have about 45 of those seconds. Um, that it's a networking, but also the the bond that you do have with so many women. Um, we have chapters in all 50 states, as well as the Virgin Islands. We have over 250,000 women that are a part of this organization. So the fact that you can go anywhere, and because you have that bond of being in the sorority, um, you're not a stranger. Um, when meeting people and talking to people, I've seen when people are moving and they'll say, hey, I'm moving in this area, can you please let me know? And, and that's, that's comforting because again, um, it kind of takes some of the sting out of moving to a new area mm -hmm. and not being familiar with things where you have a sisterhood that is there to be able to, um, that got your back. Perfect. <laughs> thank you. I'm glad we can help you promote it and keep us, keep us informed, okay? Sure. Thank you very much. Thanks, Quinn. All right. Good to see you. You as well. Um, you're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.